Unness to Goodness review on the Elemental Diet. So the Elemental Diet can be used for GI dysfunctional stuff. SIBO, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, you name it. So if your gut is um, backfiring or having issues, Elemental Diet is something that you can try. They suggest uh, 7 to 14 days of being on it, 14 days being optimal, uh, 21 days even being better, and then some people have gone as far as like 30 plus. Um, as far as like what would be the reasons or differences, I'm not too sure why someone would go that long. Um, I started this last Monday, so we are now... We're not, we're not two weeks, well, almost two weeks into it, because here's, here's the thing. Uh, I, we think I have SIBO, and it's pretty, pretty much confirmed with, you know, the antibiotics that I'm taking, and actually the symptoms getting better after the antibiotics. The problem was, is it was caught way too late, and so, um, my gut was so infested with bacteria, and then we found out I had a yeast infection on top of it, that I couldn't eat anything, and so for three months I struggled with this and wound up losing 25 pounds and was intolerant to pretty much anything. Um, the, the diet, this, pretty much saved my life, so I will have to give it that, that it, it allowed me to get the nutrients that I needed in order to function um, and stay out of a hospital and being tube fed. Um, with whatever it is that they were going to throw down my throat. So this, this is awesome in that respect. Um, however, there, there are some like critiques that I have. There is a lot of sugar in this. And so if you have a yeast infection, it will exacerbate it and make it worse. Um, so just be very cautious of that, that you're, you're taking care of the, the fungal as well as the, the bacterial portions of it. Um, they do say to drink slower and less often. So don't, don't sip it along in order to accommodate for the yeast. Um, because what they want you to do is sip this throughout the day constantly sipping it throughout the day, um, which can actually kind of make you sick to your stomach because it's got such a sweet taste to it. I've noticed if you add vanilla, a little bit of vanilla, like a, a small little bit, and then some cinnamon, it helps the taste a thousand times. I also add ibergast. So ibergast is a bitter to help your stomach empty. And that helps this from sitting in your stomach for too long and getting sour stomach, especially if you have gastroparesis issues due to SIBO. Um, those, those are the like two big critiques I have is the, the sugary taste, the sugar itself, um, which they say that it's, it's formulated so that it actually is absorbed in the small bowel first before it goes into the larger intestine. I understand that. Um, but just be aware though, there is um, a pretty high sugar content. It will make your sugar spike. Um, it is filled with all the calcium, potassium nutrients that you need if you look at like the back, on the back. So they have this all posted on the website, this nutritional information stuff. And then they also have posted, you know, why you would use this and how to use it. Um, I highly suggest doing your research and finding out which one's best for you. There are a couple of different brands. There is Integrative, which I think is great. There is uh, Dr. Ruscio's, which financially that one looks better because it's $58 per can. However, if you do the math, that can will last a day or two, I believe. So that to me is not financially, that's, that's a little harsh. So 50 bucks a day is a little harsh. This one winds up being about $45 a day, so $15 a meal, $45 a day, you know, is, is about what this one winds up costing, which actually isn't that bad. 
Uh, Nestle has one that I just ordered, Viv Vivinex Plus, which is a higher calorie content, less fat, but the same, same, you know, same stuff and less sugar. So, um, the carbohydrates in this are 23 grams. The sugars they say are one gram. So the carbohydrates in the Vivinox are a little bit higher, um, but there's no sugar added in that one. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that that one's going to be a little bit better fit for me. Um, and the only reason why I'm continuing to use this is to add calorie content to my diet. So I'm currently um, in introducing like eggs and pureed chicken and a few other items. Um, but just for the sake of getting calories in, I've added this booger right here. So one thing I will say, mixtures. In your new package, if you order this in the next like year, probably they won't change it. It says to mix it in eight to 12 ounces of water per scoop. That's a lot. It's really um, blanded out. It really doesn't taste right. It really kind of gives me a sour stomach at that mix. I did a little bit of research and a lot of people were like, oh, mix it in four ounces. Okay. And I saw on the website on a very old posting, mix it in four ounces. So part of me wonders if the mixture ratio has changed to accommodate two different things. One, to accommodate uh, NG tubes, which would make a lot of sense. The thicker the formula, the 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 more you have a chance of actually getting stuck in the G-tube and then the thinner the formula, the better off you are. And then also people at four ounces, people were probably drinking this stuff so quickly that by the end of the day, they were still hungry and it was irritating to them to not be able to just pack on another scoop. Um, especially if they don't want to gain weight, which is not in my case. I definitely want to gain a ton of weight. Um, so be liberal with uh, how you mix it and kind of do it to your taste. You don't have to do it in 12 ounces. It's actually really disgusting in 12 ounces and very hard to drink that much. Um, you do want to add water, be drinking water with this. So if you're drinking 12 ounces of this and it's 12 scoops, so 12 times a day with water, you are not going to feel that great. And I didn't for the first like two days on this because I, I didn't quite understand that. Um, anyway, that is a short, sweet, quick, honest review of the elemental diet.